It's Van Boning and Strickland against Appleton and Immonen. Expect some fireworks. The Europeans took the first rack. We're going to join it in the second with Van Boning at the table. Commentary for this one from Ted Lerner and Jay Helfert. Here's a great break shot here. Great break shot by Shane. Come on, Earl. Two balls down. <laughs> well, Jay, that's the first time we've seen the one ball track to the side and it actually went in the side as if they're breaking. That's that's what we normally see when they uh, break from the side rails. Wonder how he pulled that off. Well, Earl did the best he could with that shot. Shane that may shot. have. I don't know what Shane Earl is saying here. They ain't had a hard shot yet. Earl looks uh, Team they Europe and says they haven't had a hard shot yet. Thing. Well, that's just sour grapes. Yeah, he doesn't need to be saying that, but certainly nobody's going to stop him. Oh, boy. And if he's like that. Can't get a hard shot. That's the only thing I can do on that shot. Shane hit, hit the ball too. pretty good. It looked like it might go in, but. Jay, you, you've watched Earl for years. I, I mean, does he does he get any advantage by talking like this? Does it does it fire him up at all? And I, I don't get it. I mean, most players that would just be the, the, the yeah, real worst thing shot. you could do. Well, sometimes he's uh, upset his opponents and got them out of there. You know, got them out of sync. You know, you remember McEnroe in tennis used to get so upset, and sometimes it would, a lot of times, it would fire him up to play even better. Time I shoot, it was like this. Uh, well, we apologize for any of the language you may have heard. I don't think anything Earl says or is going to say will have any effect on the Team Europe players. They'll never get a hard shot. Can you mess up? That's for sure. But the question is, does it help Earl to get him fired? I don't think fired? so. I don't think so. You know, it's like anything else in life, Ted. The more you think negatively, the more negative things will happen. You're kind of, it's kind of a self-fulfilling destiny. Yep. And this is going to be game number two to Appleton and Immerman. Meanwhile, it's nothing but positives for Team Europe. Appleton and Immerman move up two to nil. It is, look at Earl clapping. <laughs> That is bizarre. Yeah, I was desperate to uh, not play pal. Awesome. I, I, I was just desperate yeah, to not leave the show. on the show. verge oh, of no, losing it. I mean, that's... We have seen him have meltdowns before. Get some action on the nine. Smack it. Keep your hand on the table. I, and I don't, <clears throat> I don't see how Here's this rack. helps Shane. Europe breaks. They lead 2-0. I mean, you've got to remember one thing, Ted. All these players have spent years playing with Earl Strickland, so nothing he's going to do today will surprise any of them. There goes the nine ball. Ooh, just barely misses. All right, now Earl's got a pretty easy shot on the one. You couldn't ask for a better table layout than what they've got right here. Good opening shot. You know, I've always believed, Ted, to play pool good, you've got to stay calm. You've got to stay under control. You've got to have the uh, emotions. Put in your back pocket. Let the crowd express the emotions.
You know, Team USA is so far down in this match that I think the pressure's gone away. It's like, it seems like a lost cause right now. Except that there's a fair amount of embarrassment being down 7-0 in front of the home crowd. They certainly don't want to get shut out in this match. Be hard to live that one down. Well, they should be able to finish off these last two balls. Shane's just got to be real careful with his cue ball here. This should be good. He played ball in hand position for Earl. So USA gets one back. Two to one in this race to six. They'll be breaking in rack number four. And Team Europe as calm as could be. And why not? They are leading seven to nil in this Moscone Cup. Earl was moaning earlier about how uh, Team USA couldn't get any easy shots in this beginning part of this match. And Team Europe had all the easy shots. Well, now they just had an easy rack, Team USA. So I would expect using logic. I don't know if that comes into play here, but using logic that he would stop moaning about that. They Until have. the next bad roll. <laughs> See, now he's... Now he's going into the crowd. Whenever you see Earl start to look into the crowd and pick out somebody to talk to, that's not a good sign. Thank you. Rack four. There's no one USA like breaks. Earl Strickland. Europe leads two to one. Totally unpredictable. He's got a small weight on his left arm now. Can he control his cue ball? Yes, he did. Oh. Did anything get close to going? Hmm? For a jump, make Nothing own. down. He got all nine all right. balls down table past the side Maybe pocket. Jumping. Just leave a little like jump shot for the angle on the side. I think the jumps so good. And I'll there's tell a lot you of what, safety Ted, here. Like, racking those balls a little forward with the nine yeah, ball on the spot, right. and you, you see break shots right. like you yeah. never push. see. You just push off the two. Okay. Just push in nine off balls normally. <laughs> all my years following push this out. sport, I, I've never seen. Mm -hmm. All USA the balls awesome. go down to the other end of the table. There's a push out from Team Europe. So Team USA, they have the option of shooting that shot after the push out or giving it back and they've chosen to give it back. Well, it's a pretty easy kick shot to hit the one. Let the cue ball he wants to hit the, nine. the top of that one ball, knocking it down table and keeping the cue ball up at that end. That's what he did. Well, he got lucky and unlucky. At the same time, he lucked in the five ball, but the cue ball hid behind the two. Chalky. That one ball, let's just see. It might be makeable off the seven in the side. He just got the jump cue. He made it. Just as you said, Jay. Does he get a shot on the two? Well, it is open. He played this shot. What do you call that shot? I know I've played pool with you, Jay. You have a, a, a name for that, a sideboard or something, or is it? Well, yeah, it's a sideboard, but that was. <laughs> oh, he way overcut that ball. That's the worst shot we've seen Darren shoot in two days. Bridge. He missed that pocket badly.
This is a very thin cut Extension, shot please. using the bridge by Shane. He looks back. He took his extension. The cue ball's going to hit the seven. Oh, my goodness. That's what happens when you use the bridge. You just don't have control. Gave the table back to Europe. Well, the Moscone Cup frustrations continue for Shane Van Boning. He's played in six prior Moscone Cups, and he's only been on a winning team once. Yesterday, he led the whole way against Mika Eminen and lost at the wire. There you see that miss right there. Just draw. Just it's much harder to shoot a cut shot like that when you're using the bridge. It back if you can. Yeah. Well, I and mean, this is the fourth rack. So uh, Europe, Appleton and Imminen won the lag. So they'll be breaking in rack number five. Putting the finishing touches on rack number four. <laughs> kind of got straight in here, but I think Mika could go two rails forward come out of that corner. I don't know. Oh, he's drawing the ball. That ball, see that? When you use left English, when it hits the rail, it spins back to the right. This time in the direction of the eight ball. Well, the dream result continues for Team Europe. It's a bad dream for Team USA. Three to one in favor of Appleton and Eminent in this race to six. This is rack number five. Team Europe is breaking. They lead three whack racks to one. Shane's almost reconciled himself to taking a loss. Oh, almost made the nine. One ball is in as well. One ball is in as well. But nothing, nothing down, there. open table. One was in. Earl's going to have to shoot this left-handed. Yeah, so of course, he's got that 70-inch cue. He may be yeah. able to reach it. No, he's shooting lefty. Nice. You hear so many fans, whether you talk to them in person, Jay, or you read it in the online billiard forums, and they just wish Earl could just let his cue do the talking. Oh, my. No. No, no, no. Shane has lost it. He's just lost it. <laughs> That was an open pocket he had on that two ball, and he cut the two right into the nine ball. I mean, he had a very open pocket there, and it wasn't even close. Have a look. I think, Just play think, safe. I think I can maybe swerve it. Extension. I'm definitely going to jump. I'm so the, sure if they can it. see the two ball, yeah. if they've got an open. Yeah, they're leaning down they're looking feeling. at it. This is, this is like a little half mass A. He's got to spin that cue ball around the three, and he did it. Yeah. Well done by Darren Appleton. You want to go into the five here? Great. Just kind of feels like, Ted, the worse play, USA huh? plays, the better yes, Europe is going to play. Well, Coach uh, Johan uh, Rauschenk isn't going to let. Oh. Uh, scratch. I caught it a little flat. Uh, flat on well, Mika was trying to come in into the five ball. I think he was trying to get two shoot two side. rails out of the corner. He wanted to hit that rail down there. Maybe I should have jumped it. He just hit it bad. All in hand. This seems to be the only way USA is going to win any games or matches is if they're gifted with them. It's okay, we still got the edge. Oh, 
Well, for obvious reasons, we've uh, had to mute the microphone of Earl Strickland. So that's why you can hear Team Europe, but not Team USA. Well, look, he, he, didn't, he didn't leave his train. Well, so the, the rookie, the for USA. Could this be the match they finally win? They will be breaking to tie. It's a race to six. We're playing alternate break. I could have avoided that song Where is it? It just stays with a slick claw. It yeah, stays on the cost of explaining that I'm shot to Darren. He wanted to, to go three, forward and go it, two it rails out of the corner. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I could have jumped it. Jump, jump it. Because I've hardly got to elevate on the shot, you know what I mean? I know. Just a little pop. It's okay. And he this wanted is to go scratch. more forward. Come real anyway. tight, two rails, miss the five ball, come back up for the four. Rack six, mm. USA breaks, Europe leads, three racks to two. Shane's breaking way to the left. He crushed those balls. There goes, there the, goes one. the one. Will Earl have a shot at the two? No, I don't think so. Well. He's going to have to push out here. Shane's breaking full out today. Yesterday he was using somewhat of a cut break. That's very interesting what Earl did. He played a two rail kick safety. Earl Strickland right there. Nobody else would shoot that shot. This is a safety. I like the one rail. Huh? He had to kick the bottom of that ball and get the cue ball to slide over behind all these balls. Well, that's what the fans want to see from Earl Strickland. They want to see his cue do the talking. Mika will hit this ball. Is he going to get a rail? Yeah. I think he's going to get a rail. Maybe. If that two ball didn't hit a rail, it would have been ball in hand for USA. Might have to pull the jumper out here. After contact, one of the balls must hit a rail. And it just gets there. Shane wants to hide behind the six and seven, and he did it. Nice safety. Very well done. Limits the angles for Appleton. This is not an easy kick shot. Well, maybe two rows. The two and four ball are very close together. There's definitely a danger of making a bad hit here. All right. Darren's got to Five hit seconds. the two first. Good. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't have done it any better if he did it a hundred times. Perfect speed, perfect control, and a perfect result. Wow, where's Earl taking this? One rail. Boom. Very nearly made it. He's made the three ball. There's a shot on the two. Well, he's certainly not complaining when he gets a good roll, and he got a good one there. Can Shane hold up his end of the bargain? And every time you hear the American fans cheer like that, it's out of desperation for something good to happen. They just want to get a point on the board. You know, Ted, the reality is Earl has played the best of any of the American players for two days. They 
should be able to tie up this match right here. Well, that's true, Jay, but I, I'm not sure what the effect is on the other players of Earl's demeanor. And I, I think that's the one that needs to be investigated. Yes, Earl has played great. Well, like I said before, yeah. these guys, all these European players are very familiar with Earl. They've all played multiple matches against him. Oh, I'm talking about his fellow teammates. Well, that's another story. Yeah. It's tied up. Team USA comes back from a 3-1 deficit. is not an easy shot in this one and the two is no guarantee for position. He really can't play this one ball here Ted. I think he's going to have to play a safety off the left edge of the one ball. Kind of like that. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> good he wanted to get that cue ball down Bond table behind those balls. This has been the story of the Moscone Cup here tight, in 2013 right? for yeah, Team yeah, USA. I think maybe the the moment they get something going, they get a little momentum. Anyway, the stakes creep in. Well, if we get a good shape on the two, he almost can, made a really good the safety and, there, and off the rail and clip it right. Side pocket got in the way. I'm going to play the one in the corner. Extension. Extension. Mika starts with ball in hand. This is not going to be the easiest rack. As you can see, the four and eight are tied up here. What Darren's looking at, he's looking to see if the four will pass the eight and the seven and go in the corner. The four a little bit. That's going to be the problem. Clip it. Maybe rail first. Okay. okay. Oh, and he broke up that little cluster. Well, that answers the question. It didn't pass, and he had to what do you like here? rearrange the balls a little bit. Very clever. But I don't think, I th I'm not sure if Mika can see the full three ball here. He may have to run back and get his jump cue. Let's see. Oh, no, he's shooting at it. He's shooting at it. Yeah, he's got room. He right wants to come down beautiful. for position on the four and the side. Beautifully done. That's where he needed to get. So Darren has a shot at the four. Here also. Here or here. Whichever is easy. Beautiful draw stroke here. 15. I think Darren will just shoot the four straight up in the corner. Oh, he's going for the side pocket. Oh, no, he went for the corner. Look out. Shot. He avoided the side pocket. You know, we spent a lot of time dissecting the personality of uh, Earl Strickland. What about this guy, Darren Appleton? What about Mika Eminen? Two of the hardest of the hardcore players we've ever seen in pool. Well, these are two future Hall of Famers, let me tell you. Well, this was no good. That is no good. Trying to go into it. Mika wanted to get around the six and be above it. Yeah, maybe she was left me long. <laughs> you want to double bank it yeah. here and then play a uh, cue ball, right? Ten seconds. No extensions. Well, what they're talking about is the safety. He's going to come off the bottom of the six, try to go. Uh, he did not want to hit that point. He did no! not want to do that. Team USA. 
Shane's got to come with a good shot right here, though. Well, I think Shane Expansion, please. can feel it. They actually have a chance to win this match. He's got to come with a good shot here. Not only make the ball, but get good position for Earl on the seven. Ooh, he's good. He's good. He's going to go around the eight. That's what he wanted to do. He's walking on a tight rope, isn't he, Jay? He needed to avoid that eight ball, and he did. Team USA is going to grab a lead, but as you said earlier, Ted, they've had the lead in matches before and let it slip away. And they have the break in the next rack. Boy, that ball was, that just about went in. <laughs> Almost a miss. All right, this one will be in the books for uh, Strickland and Van Boning. Well, I don't know, Earl's, <laughs> he stopped in mid-stroke and looked to his right. I think it, it bothered him a little bit that the coach, Johan, came down and was talking to his players while Earl was shooting. There you see the rifleman, Buddy Hall, talking to Earl. That is one man that Earl does respect. Yeah, that's what he's looking at. Johan came down to talk to Mika and Darren. I don't think he liked that. Buddy was telling him, don't let it bother you, man. Just get up there and play. That's three in a row now for Strickland and Van Boning. It'll be Earl Strickland to break here in rack number eight. It's just a race to six, alternate break. breaking, leading four to three. This has been the hardest shot of the match for both teams, coming up with a good break shot. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Nine balls tracking. Once again, nothing down, but no shot for Europe. They're faced with a push-out situation. More frustration on the break. Jay, you know. Uh, Earl Strickland for many years has been a big proponent of the break box. But it's not serving him well. Well, he said it in the practice room yesterday. He said, I cannot break on these tables. Oh, so now he's blaming the tables? Boy, another failed shot by Darren Appleton. He did not hide the cue ball. Shane's got an open shot at the side pocket. But He's got to go forward and get the cue ball all the way down by the seven here. He's got to go forward. The cue ball's got to get down to where the seven is at least. Boy, nicely done. Could we got we, a chance this wreck. Could we be looking at the first point in the Moscone Cup for Team USA? Yeah, well, they got to get the... Rack five first. Boy, yes, Earl put a big stroke on that ball. Don't get on top of that four. That's okay. Earl's doing everything right. And Shane looks like he's kind of back on track. The hard part's over. They just got to clean it up right now. Nice stroke. 
Well, two balls and Strickland and Van Boning will be on the hill, one away from victory, which would be the first win, the first point for Team USA. But it's not over yet. We are not penciling in a win for Team USA until that last nine goes and they get to six. Shane's got to spin this cue ball away from that side pocket. Team USA, one to go for their first point here in the 2013 PartyPoker.net Moscone Cup. out there the three is tied up though that's the problem the three and four although the three will go in the corner past the nine they've got a chance here if they can play well right now they can win this match The key here is to get straight in on the two ball so you can draw it back up for the three. Shane wants Earl to shoot this opening shot. Earl knows what he has to do. Just like that. Make the ball, though. you got to make the ball. Earl made a mistake. Well, we'd like to apologize in case you've heard any bad language, inappropriate language. Boy, what an opportunity for Team USA right there. That is a blown opportunity indeed. Still not an easy rack for Europe. This is where he wanted the cue ball to be. Darren? Mika can draw straight back up for the three ball now. The trick here, Ted, is to make the three and control the cue ball with position on the four because he's going to bump the four here. Position and he does. Nicely done. Position for the pink four. Earl stands up to take a look at it. Well, he has got steam coming out of his ears from missing that one ball. And he should really be sitting down. Beautiful shot by Mika there. Couldn't have hit that one any better. Wow, down the rail and brings it back for position on the five ball. Darren's going to go forward with the cue ball. Play that short rail position. Well done. They're in control of this wreck. Darren originally from Pontefract, England. Mika from Finland. Both of them live in the United States now. Very costly error for Earl Strickland. Team USA had a chance to win their first match. That J is a massive error. Yeah! This should have been Team USA with the rack and their first point, but it's Team Europe. And it's just like that recurring bad dream Every time the finish line is in sight, something happens and it gets further and further away for the Americans. USA to break though. They've got one more chance here. There's the missed one ball from Earl Strickland. Massive frustration. 
You know why that happens, Ted? He's so focused on playing position that he just loses sight of the bullseye. Crowd is getting Clark, to him now. You. Rack 10, Shane to break. USA breaking, Can he to save four. the match for thank USA you. right now? Well, the break has not been to anyone's advantage. Powerful break. And again, nothing down. But no shot on the one. Yeah. We're going to see another safety battle on this one ball. It's going to start with a push out. The massive break of Shane Van Boning is just not working on these tables with this rack. This, uh, Jay, you know, we've seen how, you know, the visuals in pool have progressed over the years. This uh, ultra slow mo in high definition has just brought the game to another level. Amazing stuff. Good work by Sky Sports bringing this telecast all over the world. Extension. Extension, please. I don't believe he's trying to jump this ball. Sure is. He could push out here, Ted. I don't understand this. What's the point of this? This this seems like a, a mental blunder here. I mean, he's trying to make this ball and. Well, he got lucky there. He didn't give up a shot. Nothing comes easy for the Americans today. They are going to have to literally grab this point. Nobody's going to hand them anything. Imagine that. He goes for that very difficult one ball jump shot and ends up getting safe. I believe that Mika will be able to see that one ball. I can't get one. Just float here, right? Trying to get one behind the floor. Yeah. Mika playing safe. And will it pop open? He's trying to get the one behind the two Left ball. Slides so much. Rather, he was trying to get the one behind the four ball. Just a little bit. I believe Shane, yes, he can see Extension, please. part of this one ball. It's not been the best of match for Darren Appleton. Appleton and Eminen. Trying to keep this streak going for Team Europe. Maintaining safety from Van Boney, well appreciated by the crowd. Will they be the ones to get the first point for Team USA? 14 seconds. We're a day and a half into this 20th annual Moscone Cup. Five. And still a big goose egg on the board for the Americans. Shot. I'm just going to play it here. Appleton managed to make the seven ball there, so they're going to keep shooting. Yeah. Well, that's a good yeah. safety from Mika Eminen. Again, nothing is going to come easy for the Americans. It's really hard to see how, figure out how they could come back in this Moscone Cup. Europe is just so tough. Yes. Oh, if 
he runs into that six ball this shot's going to be open indeed and you see Earl Strickland slamming that Q tip down on the floor. So with the two ball out in the middle of the table there, this is a big opportunity now for Team Europe, Appleton and Eminen to tie it up. And if they do tie it up, they will be breaking in the final rack decider. This is an absolute horror movie for the Americans. The nightmare gets worse. We might have to call it the nightmare at the mirage. We don't know who Earl's talking to himself. Well, he might be saying that, uh, you know, they're not getting the rolls. He did not play a, a proper safety earlier, and that led to this. An open shot. And a clear from Appleton and Eminem. They're going to tie it up. They were down 5-3, Jay. One game for the are in no mood to be generous. I'm sorry, folks, for obvious reasons. We just cannot turn up the microphone of Earl Strickland. Feel the break, huh? Feel the break. frustration there. And that was when he left that one ball open as it caromed off the six, and he left it open during the safety exchange. And Europe made a very nice clear. So it'll be Darren Appleton now. Hill Hill, we call it in pool when it's tied with one rack to decide the match. Kind of reminiscent of uh, the 2001 series. Europe won the first match. USA won the next 12 in a row. This is kind of the opposite. Well, what has Final happened to the Team American game breaking. of pool in America? This is getting ugly. Just sheer frustration showing on Earl's face there. Nine ball. Yeah. Game kicked. <laughs> wow, look at this call. break. That is the best break we've seen so far in this Moscone Cup. Three balls down. But no easy shot on the one here. Should I double the distance? Can I come here and then. Back out. Can you sort of like. Eight uh, ball, three draw ball. It like a soft draw to that, yeah? Two ball. Oh, no. I'll try to spin it. Time. Overcut that ball. They're semi blocked by the six ball, but it can be made. He overcut that ball. Let's see this shot here. He's mass saying. Boy, beautiful shot. They've got a chance here. There it is. The three will go by the four. Oaksgate, wait a second. Is that the three or the five ball there? Oh, that's the five, so Earl's got a problem here. He's got to shoot that four with no pocket. Let's see, he's looking all the way down in the corner. 
This is a triple tough shot right here. He wants to cut that four ball all the way Time down, out. pass Extension, the nine please. in the corner, and control the cue ball. Very missable shot. In fact, to make it would be a great shot. Can the great Earl Strickland come up with one more big shot? to be. Not a shot for the Europeans on the four ball. That was a shot to win the match right there. Just, just make it, right? The best I can do, bro. Yeah, it's fine. This is a hard, sh hard shot for Darren, too, but not nearly as difficult as the one Earl had. He's just got to go forward. Yes. A it appears that the nightmare will continue on and on and on. A little tricky for position here. He's got to go back and forth across the table with the cue ball. Oh, wow. No, he was good. He was playing good. He saw this whole match. It's a dream for the Europeans. Just, just leave it here so you got some It's horrific yeah. for Team USA. That was a perfect shot at the right time. Just a little nudge forward. Huh? Just a little nudge forward. Just, just a little nudge just forward, little you nudge heard forward. Mika say. You mean here? Yeah. That's fine. Stop it. He's a little bit too straight here to give make a much of an angle on the seven. He's going to have to stick the cue ball right against the rail. He used the side pocket to give him a little room to cue. Bear down, Get him on. Mika's just going to go forward, just like, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. He tried to cheat the pocket. Well, Shane's got a bank shot to win the match. Quiet, Bit of a Thank Christmas you. gift from Mika Eminen. This is a shot that normally Shane would make nine out of ten times. Can he make it with the pressure on? He's going to bank this seven ball cross side to win the match. He did it. There it is. He did it. Well, this nine ball is a lot easier than the four ball he just missed. miles begins with a single step that nine had a lot of steps to get into the pocket